935 Katie, it's your girl Cece. Man, I'm excited about this interview. Can I just say this? Especially on this West Coast Wednesday, it's only right. We got King Little G in the studio. Yeah, yeah. Man, can I just tell you, I've been like dying to have you just sit in front of me and just talk. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. You already know we represent LA West Coast all day. Represent LA West Coast Latinos in hip hop. Yeah. Let's just go ahead and keep that 100. And you're doing Blazers Cup. Yes. Okay, so once again, the game, Ty Dolla Sign, Problem, RJ, Be Real. Yo, how do you feel about this lineup? You in a lineup with a bunch of legends too, like the game, Be Real. I grew up on them. Yeah, you know, I, I feel I feel really proud of myself and my team because um, we've been working really hard in the streets, and um, I think it's just really dope to be a part of this. And I look up to a lot of these guys, especially Be Real, because he's from Southgate. You know what I'm saying? And uh, he's Latino, so I just want to follow into his footsteps and be all over the world with, with my whole squad, represented just like him. You know? Okay, for somebody who is under a rock, and you know what I mean, they're listening to you for the first time right now on K-Day, what part of L.A. are you from? I'm just from L.A. I, I'm, I come from a dysfunctional family. We moved around everywhere, so... Oh, you yes. from my family? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just L.A., just L.A. That's what's up. Now, listen, here's my thing. Like, I, I follow you on Instagram. You know, I peeped you out. I, I really, you really came to my attention about maybe two and a half years ago. And I, I started following you ever since. And I told you this off air. It just amazed me how I would see you go and you do your signings at Walmart. You would do your signings at different venues. And you would have the, I mean, it'd be packed. Yeah. The line would be around the building. Yeah. And I'm like, how is this guy doing this? And he doesn't have that much airplay, which, by the way, you should. I'm just going to go ahead and put that out there. Yeah. But how are you? how is your team getting that much? Like, what are you doing? Because whatever you're doing, it's working. Uh, we actually all started together like about four years ago, and um, I think I just think we're like a family and we all move like as a unit, you know what I'm saying? So when it's time to hit the streets and it's time to promote the shows or drop videos together, we just genuinely just do it all together and we move, like I said, like an army. So. Uh, our, our fan base has became a part of our family as well, so they push when we push, so it just became really strong and, and we appreciate them a whole lot. By the way, shout out to everybody representing AK-47. That's what's up. Now you're, um, now you're starting to work with, you know, different artists. Uh, now here's, here's my thing, and, and I'm just going to throw this out there because you're an up-and-coming Latino, and, yeah. and I say up-and-coming, you put in work, but people are starting to recognize, and it does, it takes time, and, and you're doing it, but so is Snow the Product. Right. You know what I mean? Yes, and and, and I Latina her, from way. the West Coast. So. I love her, by the way. Okay, any collaborations? I'm just yes. saying. The collaboration is coming. We're going to have a photo shoot. <laughs> We're going to have whatever we can, but um, we we definitely going to represent for Mexicans. And I think she does an amazing job, like, on, on, on some real stuff. I think that um, her her talent is, is, is to be proud of, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm no hater at all. I, I feel also that us as Latinos, like, we need to give e each other more props, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Frost, too. I, I feel like Frost don't get enough props. And he's an OG. He did it before us, and much love to him. So let me let me go ahead and jump into this right now. Vibe Magazine. Uh, that was amazing. How uh, did that come about? Uh, well, my, my, my manager, Michael, he's been working extremely hard, and uh, he actually flew us out there to to New York. We, we were a part of that premiere. Uh, what was the name? Sicario. Sicario, I remember yeah. that. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, we went to that. That was real nice, by the way. Uh, there was a lot of beautiful women out there. Shout out, <laughs> shout out to them. And... <laughs> and um, yeah, we were a part of that, and then meanwhile we were in New York, we went to the Vibe magazine, we went to Double XL, and uh, we talked a lot about the Freshman cover. Mm -hmm. So right now we're trying to work as much as we can, you know what I'm saying, sell out more shows, do a lot more stuff, uh, just to be, just to try to get a nominee to be a part of the Freshman Double XL, because I feel like that would be very big for our people, just like the Canelo fight, you know what I'm saying? Oh man, I yes, I love good. Canelo, by the way. Here, Here's my thing too. You know, you're out there, you have a new album coming out. Yeah. When is it dropping? It's going to drop, uh, I would say, early March or late February. And right now we're working on some street singles that we're going to drop. And we're also going to work on some radio stuff now because I feel that, you know, the best music is the music that reaches the most people. So, so that's what we're trying to do. And that's what I think people relate to your music. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Especially Latinos. And you grew up in hip-hop. So, you know, you grew up on Be Real, Cypress yeah. Hill, Kid Frost. Yeah. You know, I'm just going to throw it out there. Psycho Round, probably. You know what I mean? Just the Latinos that are doing it. Shout out to Sick Jack. That's my homie. Yeah, shout out to Sick Jack. And definitely, that's that's our big brother right there. Uh, but, you know, th there's something that I wanted to point out. Like, yes. In, in, like, 
in the beginning of my career, I really wanted to rap for Latinos and us Mexicans, so you know we could have a, a voice in a, in a, at a to, to like a certain extent though. Like now, I just want to represent for the people in the struggle. I don't care if you brown, mm -hmm. yellow, green, white. I don't really care what color you are, what race you're coming from. I just want to represent from the ghetto because at the end of the day, we all living through the same struggle, trying to survive, trying to take care of our family. So I just want people to know that. You know what I'm saying? I don't want people to judge me no more for being Mexican or just trying to represent for us. But I'm isn't it sure. hard in a sense, like going back to that because you are Mexican, so a lot of people kind of doubt your yeah, skills sometimes. Yeah, like, mm, what are you doing rapping? It is hard, but but I feel that they need to get that. They, they need to understand that energy from me and they need to get that. They need to feel that vibe that like they shouldn't feel like, oh, look at this Mexican dude trying to represent for Mexicans. You know what I'm saying? They should feel like, Hell yeah, you know what? I I remember I remember I had a Mexican that was a neighbor. He was cool as fuck. He's just like G. Mm -hmm. He's representing for the streets, period. All you know right, I got you. Yeah, fair enough. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, let's talk about West Coast Wednesdays. Yep. Here, K Day, you from LA? I know yep. you grew up on K Day. Hell yeah. And you're here. This is a legendary station. Hell yeah. <laughs> so tell me, when you're out there in the streets and you you know you bumping K D A Y, favorite artist out here? Snoop Dogg. Really? Hell yeah. Oh man. I was, I was I was about eight years old and I shouldn't have been knowing all of the lyrics to Doggy Style, but I didn't. <laughs> you know what which I'm by the way is 22 years uh, this yeah. week. We gotta go celebrate that. Me and Drummer Boy, we're gonna go pop some champagne when we're gonna try to find Snoop in Long Beach somewhere. So have you ever <laughs> you know met Snoop? Have you ever? Um, you know what? I I've been around a lot of like Snoop's people, mm -hmm. but I haven't met Snoop yet. But I feel like. I feel when we do, I'm going to have a blunt for him. Can I make that happen? Yes, please. Make okay, that happen. I'm going to make that happen. I just got to go ahead and pick <laughs> yeah, up a phone call and call please, WAP. We can please. make that happen. <laughs> yeah, let him know that. I, I, I knew every lyric to Doggy Style and I shouldn't have. And you know what I'm saying? I'm still a fan of Snoop Dogg. Okay, so listen. We're going to go ahead and jump into some Snoop Dogg right now. It's West yeah. Coast Wednesday. Favorite Snoop song? Lottie Dottie. All right, let's do it. It's 935 k -Day. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back with more King Little G. k -Day, it's your girl CC back with my man King Little G in the studio. Thank you so much for stopping by on West Coast Wednesday. We appreciate that. You already know I'm throwing up the W. You got to stop by more often. This is your home. Yes, I'm going to bring some some Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, you got an album coming out, Lost in Smoke 2. Yeah. And it's when is it dropping? It's going to drop early March, late February, around that. Okay. And um, they can all find out because they can follow you on your Instagram at? Yes. King Lil G, one word. Okay. King Lil G, all together. Yeah. Now, let me just go ahead and ask you this because I know that you're signed to Dell Records. You're the yes. first hip-hop artist yes. on uh, the label. Were you a little hesitant about that, being the first hip-hop artist? Um... I really wasn't only because they, they, they had a full plan for me instead of me guessing, damn, you know what, what what's really going to happen or, or just because you see an advance or a big check doesn't mean that they know what to do with you. You know what I'm saying? All I wanted was, was to hear what the plan was going to be and it was perfect. It was exactly what I had envisioned in my head. So I said, it's perfect. Let's roll. And you know it is because I'm telling you, you're, social media wise, yeah. you're everywhere. <laughs> so I, I do, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not a rapper, but you know, I'll yeah. go ahead and bet money on Dell Records. <laughs> Let's go ahead and just say that. Hell yeah. Now here's my, here's my question that I'm dying to ask you. So Billboard Magazine came out with the greatest rappers of all time. We're talking about Lil Wayne, Kendrick Lamar, Ghostface Killer, uh, Lauryn Hill, Andre 3000, Nas, Rakim, Eminem, Jay-Z, and Biggie. Okay. No Tupac on there. Okay, so I'm upset with this already. I think we're all upset about this. I think everybody's upset. Pac yeah. should have already been on there. Yes. But here's my question to you. Who's your top five greatest rappers of all time? Uh, I would say number one, Tupac. Uh, number two, Biggie. Number three, Snoop. Number four, Rock Kim. And number five, KRS-One. Hey, I agree with you right there because I was like, KRS-One should have been on there. Yes, yes. But you know what? As, exactly. Tupac. Yes. Number one. Number one. There it is. <laughs> Make sure you guys follow him on his Instagram, King Little G. You're going to be at Blazers Cup. Can we give away a pair of tickets to that? Yes, we can. Matter uh, of fact, you know what? What's um, up? We, we might even give away four. I might leave you some so you can give them out on Instagram. If they follow your Instagram, maybe you can give them uh, My Instagram's yes. Cecilia the Mama Cita. Straight up. Hey, man, let's do that right now. 
Alright, so listen, Blazers Cup is going down December 12th. Make sure you guys go to blazerscup.com. But right now, let's do call in number 35-323-5205-329. We got a pair of tickets courtesy of King Little G. Yeah. He's got you. He's going to take care of you. Call up right now, and I'm going to go ahead and hook you up. But um, I know, you know, from your last album, one of my favorite songs, Grow Up. Yeah. Can we go ahead and jump into that right now? We could go ahead and jump into that. Shout out to my little young homie, MC Sinatra. Good morning, boy. Oh, girl. man, there it is. It's Kenny. Oh, Come man, on. That's lecture. What you want to be when you grow up? Uh. My mother worked two jobs, gang banging was too raw 1993 I was bumping some of that Snoop Dogg Murder was the case, my uncle called a case My grandmother stressing out, I could feel the pain Acting older than I was, I should have been acting my age I had to walk to school, I got recruited to the gang My mother tried to do her best on minimum wage But it was hard when I seen the drug dealers in the range Such a bad example, she didn't even know it I truly needed my father with me, you need to know it You need to know it, cause I need someone to be heroic Someone to motivate me when I wanna be a poet I truly think that I could be the dopest Maybe notice, never losing my focus But you ruined the moment Shit was hard in my apartments Roaches and old carpets I'm an enemy target Mattresses by the garbage I know it's hard to grow up I know it's hard to grow up But it's time to grow up I know it's hard to grow up But it's time to grow up 